Good morning, this is Sue, and today while the campground is empty and the skies are sunny, we're going to do some Dutch oven cooking. There are a lot of techniques for heating up these ovens. Some people use coals from the wood fire, but it takes shovels full. I have opted for charcoal. Today we're going to do some cooking at the beach and I'll show you what I've learned about Dutch oven cooking. So you can see I have this chart which makes this uh, Dutch oven so easy to use and I just have this little 8 inch one. So. Here are the degrees and how many pieces of charcoal you need to use. I'll put the link to this. This is so handy. I need to heat it to 400 to make the cinnamon rolls. I'm just using Pillsbury's Poppin' Fresh, whatever. And I'm actually going to put an aluminum pan inside it. Keeps it clean and lazy. I've got a thing of charcoal cooking. And I got a fire going because I'm going to cook a kielbasa that I bought. Uh, we're going to go step by step. So first, I got the charcoal going. I looked up how many I need. I got my metal pan somewhere. It's a little bit small. I could also use aluminum foil. I did that last time. But I'm going to try this this time. See what happens. All right. There's my six bottom ones. Dutch oven on top, and then add the 12 to the top. It's preheating right now. I used to have tongs, I don't know what happened to them. Alright, I needed two hands. Basically, I just sort of dumped them. So there's the top ones. I got the kielbasa on. I have some extra charcoal that I'll add um, as we go when these start to get weak and or maybe I'll make something else while we got the oven hot. It's been about a half an hour so I'm going to go ahead and put the cinnamon rolls in. So unlike a conventional oven or even a solar oven, you have to pay a lot of attention to it. You have to turn it, you have to add coals, but it's worth it. All right, I waited a little bit too long. <laughs> I'm gonna take the lid off and see what's happening. Maybe I'll have to adjust the temperature. Oh my goodness, they're done. These cook really quick and the oven's hot, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and make a pizza, too. Alright, I got the pizza in the oven. I used pre-rolled thin crust pizza. And then I made a, an aluminum uh, pan, you know, just aluminum about the eight inches deep. going to add some coals to the top now. So there's the, the dough. I'm going to wait about six minutes for the crust to bake a little bit and then I'll put all the toppings on and stick it back in for about 15 minutes. I 
sausages. Okay. Toppings are on. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Throw a few more coals on it. Maybe, maybe not. Just redistribute them. And I'm gonna rotate it a quarter turn. All right, I've rotated it a couple times, and I've Pulled the lid off a couple times and added a couple more briquettes, but it's starting to look like pizza, I think. Just need to brown the top. You know, this is this uh, Dutch oven is so cool. I probably need more briquettes because there's a lot of things. On one hand. I've never had, I don't have to go up the frozen food aisle anymore, because there's nothing to buy, but now I actually can, and uh, cook it here, and this, but the other thing I've discovered about frozen food is, like, TV dinners, sometimes I don't want to cook, Stouffer's, they have, but, you know, whatever kind you want. I have learned that you can use those TV dinners. You just have to let it defrost, so I buy it one day. The next day, I can throw it in my cast iron skillet and heat it on the stove, or I could just bring it home and pop it in this Dutch oven to cook it. It gives you a little variety without having to do a lot of work. And although a lot of Dutch oven recipes call, or like chili and things like that, I avoid using tomato-based or any acid in my Dutch oven. It just ruins the surface. Whoops. I can't quite tell about the bottom yet. But a couple more minutes. Now I've cooked all this food, I'm not hungry. And voila! Mini pizza. And I added extra coals, I think I said that. So it's cooked on the bottom and it's cooked on top. Honestly, it tasted just like Pizza Hut. It was really good. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, hope you try it someday. Thanks for watching.